Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban RB8317 Chromant sunglasses. So first off, let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 58 millimeter lenses and a 14 millimeter bridge. That's the exact same dimensions as the standard size of the original Ray-Ban Aviator that I have to show you guys right here. Now the front of these Chromance Aviator sunglasses are basically the exact same as the original. So here we have the Chromance. And then let me go ahead and pop on the original so you guys can get a good idea of the look between these two frames. And again, as you guys can see, basically they are identical from the front. The biggest difference here is these Chromance have these beautiful carbon fiber temples and they of course also have these Chromance lenses. So as far as weight goes, these Chromance aviators are gonna weigh 23 grams, which is very lightweight. And that's 33% lighter than the original Ray-Ban aviators which weigh 32 grams. Ray-Ban is able to accomplish this weight savings with their Palmer lenses here on the Chromance versus the all glass lenses on the original Ray-Ban aviators and then also the carbon fiber uh, versus the metal temples. Even though I'm not convinced that these carbon fiber temples are actually a lighter weight than the metal because the metal are so uh, skinny and cylindrical, they probably don't weigh too much at all. Either way, this is a really cool pair of aviators from Ray-Ban. I really do like the styling of these frames. Now, if we take a closer look at the front of the sunglasses, we can see, of course, a Ray-Ban logo with a little P because they do have polarized lenses like every pair of Ray-Ban's Chromant sunglasses. And then if we take a look here at the bottom uh, left of the lens, we can see they actually do say Chromance there on the lens. That's there for authentication purposes as well. Now, for those of you not familiar with Ray-Ban's Chromance lenses, these are really a high quality lens from Ray-Ban, which give better colors, enhanced contrast, and better clarity. They also have more blues and less blur according to Ray-Ban. These lenses are really good and they actually remind me of Mally Jim's lenses. They have an anti-reflective material here on the back side. They are going to block 100% of UVA and UVB rays as well and every pair of Chromance lenses are polarized which is also really nice. Now if we take a look at the temples of the sunglasses we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo here on both the left and the right hand side and if we move down the temples we can see this absolutely gorgeous authentic carbon fiber uh, material which is really really beautiful and looks very nice as well now we're moving all the way down to the ears we can actually see a little rubberized uh, material that actually says ray-ban on the inside that's going to help these sunglasses stick to the face really good behind the ear and it actually makes wearing these sunglasses very comfortable and you can wear these for a long period of time without any discomfort now these sunglasses do have fully adjustable nose rests just like every pair of Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses and through the nose rest they say RB for authentication purposes which also is really nice. These do have all metal hinges which feel very good when open up and when closing them they feel very nice and substantial just like you'd expect with a pair of Aviator sunglasses. These frames are made in Italy and they sit here in the inner right temple of sunglasses they just say Ray-Ban Chromance made in Italy and that's probably pretty hard to read. Uh, I had a hard time getting a good shot of that with my camera but it does say that there. And then on the inner right temple sunglasses, they just say, of course, RB 5317CH, which stands for Chromance, and then 5814, which of course stands for uh, the dimensions of the sunglasses. Now, as far as pricing goes, these sunglasses are going to run around $300, which is definitely quite the premium over a pair of traditional Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses. But Ray-Ban is definitely proud of their Chromance lenses, so anything Chromance is gonna add an extra $50 or $60 to the price tag. So these definitely aren't cheap, but you can definitely pick them up for a little bit cheaper on Amazon. So I'm going to leave a link description down below. You guys check out the sunglasses directly from Amazon. We hope you guys can get these for more around $200 versus three. Now, as far as coverage from the sun goes, these are going to offer basically just as good coverage as an original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, which is very good. So here up top, we can see there really isn't a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected. Then here on the sides, again, with the pilot lenses, they're really going to wrap around the face, offering very good coverage from the sun, which is really 
nice to see. As far as looks go, I really do like these frames on face. I think the carbon fiber really pops out in the sunlight and makes them look really nice and premium. Definitely something a little bit more interesting than the classic original aviator sunglasses. And of course, the addition of Ray-Ban's very lightweight chromance lenses are just a really cool combination for a pair of Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses. And I think you guys are really going to like these. I know I definitely do. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified when I release a new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.